What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, good hearts and God sense. My name is Simon Goodheart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here, as we upload new videos all the time. All right then, let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a hair color effect in Canva. If you want to know where I got my inspiration when I think of this effect, I will tell you. The Squid Game, the Korean TV series, is my inspiration. For those who haven't seen the TV series yet, I'll tell you why. At the end scenes of the first season, the leading man named Song Gi-hun changed his hair color. It's a very drastic change because he makes his black hair red. This makes me learn that hair color is an important aspect of how people define themselves and how other people define them. Specific hair colors have become associated with various personality traits. Hair color actually doesn't tell us a lot about personality, although it can affect how we are perceived or treated by other people. After you learn this effect, you will now have the option to retry it yourself. Take a picture of yours, emphasizing your hair, apply this effect, and change the color of your hair to whatever color you want and see what fits your personality. Let's get into Canva and I will show you how to make the hair color effect. But before that, here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create the hair color effect. I will start by getting my subject photo from uploads. This photo can also be found under photos by searching the keyword brunette curly hair, beautiful woman with long beauty healthy hair portrait. After dragging the photo in my design page, I will set it as my background. Duplicate this page. I will leave this page, the first one, and go to the duplicated page. I will detach the photo because I am going to use the Remove Background tool. Doing this effect is very easy with the help of this tool. You'll see why. But of course, you need a very steady hand in using the Erase and Restore tool under the Background Remover. Using the image, go to Edit Image and click the background remover. Wait a few seconds until the background is removed. If you are a pro version user, you can automatically remove the background under edit image. If you are a free version user, you can use the free alternative background remover like remove.bg. You can find in the description box below the link to this alternative. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have a link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. Just click the link and it will direct you to the Canva to process your trial subscription. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle-free. Now here's the trick. Don't click the apply yet because I need to erase all the portions except for the hair. It's a bit tasking doing this and I need my steady hands to erase the portions between the hair and the skin. Watch me do this.
Done with erasing part, I will copy and paste this hair portion as an overlay to the design in the original page design. I will resize it and I'll make sure that it occupies the whole page. I will crop a little on the upper part so that it will not change the background photo. Now, watch carefully how I will change her hair color. Selecting the hair, go to edit image, and scroll down. Find the adjust settings, click see all. And our first hair color, I want a green hair color. Then use these settings, contrast, then saturation, negative 100, tint, 3, clarity, 10, vibrance, 35, highlights, 100, shadows, 100. This is the green colored hair. Duplicate the page and let's change again the hair color to our second hair color. I want now blue hair color for this image. Use the settings, contrast 10, saturation negative 100, tint from 3, change it to 45, warmth negative 100, clarity 10, vibrance 35, highlights 100, shadows 100. This is the blue colored hair. Duplicate again the page and change hair color to our third hair color. Now I want the red color hair like Gihun's. Use these settings, contrast 10, saturation 50, tint negative 75, clarity 10, Let's change the warm to zero. Vibrance 35. Highlights 100. Shadows 100. This is the red colored hair. Pro tip. You can manipulate the colors by adjusting the tint, saturation, and warm settings. The effect is already done. This is now the final look of the different hair colors I created. But before that, I will take again the original photo, let me just add a new page, and I will drag again here the original photo that I used to showcase the difference between the examples. Take a look at the examples I created. Original hair color, green hair color, blue hair color, red hair color. That's it. For more design inspirations, watch this.
If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, Good Heart VA saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky Gods and VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Pinky with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.